to uh, kick us off and get started um, with our first speaker by introducing Colleen Fahey Rush, who's not only the Executive Vice President and Chief Research Officer of Viacom Media Networks, uh, but also the Chairperson of SIMS Executive Committee. I should probably say along with also being the Chairperson of the ARF as well, the ARF Board. So let's welcome Colleen. Thank you, Jane. Yep, I'm all in on the research thing. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, for those of you I haven't met, uh, as Jane just said, my name is Colleen Fahey Rush, and I'm Executive Vice President and Chief Research Officer for Viacom Media Networks. Uh, that's an array of brands from Nickelodeon to TV Land with MTV, VH1, Comedy Central, Spike, Nick at Night, and CMT in between, to name a few. That's not even all of them. I am very happy to be here today as a founding member of SIM, I'm very proud of that, um, to talk about all the great innovation and progress that is being made uh, quietly but very, very diligently here at SIM uh, with the help of so many of you here in the audience. Um, and I can't thank you enough for being a part of SIM and a part of the program today. It's no secret that, as an industry, we're facing significant issues in the cross-platform measurement space. Um, as Jane said, that's really going to be our focus today. It's why we are all here, and it's to explore our potential to transform the way that audiences are measured. We, we do have Sim to thank for that, and I also really want to give a shout out to Jane. Um, you know, we're a, a, a tough group of people to bring together. Um, she is so smart and has uh, done a great job of, of getting us together and bringing great innovative entrepreneurs and vendors um, in front of us and, and has done a great job of shepherding SIM the past few years. Um, so SIM has filled a gap in the industry and has pushed ahead on funding innovative approaches to measurement like no other organization. The, the velocity of change in consumer behavior today is driving the need for continual reinvention for all of us in our businesses, but, as also, as, uh, but also as researchers and vendors. We need new approaches, new thinking, and new methodologies to measure how viewers are consuming across platforms. In the last few years, SIM has accomplished so much by fostering collaboration across the industry with the goal of creating actual solutions to today's key measurement challenges. In a single afternoon today, and a free one, I might add, you'll be getting updates on projects that SIM has championed by getting the best and the brightest to come together to innovate in the cross-platform measurement space. Without SIM, none of these projects on today's outstanding agenda would have transpired. We'll be getting deep dives on both exposure measurement and ad effectiveness, ad effectiveness measurement during today's program. Specifically, we'll hear about ESPN's five media cross-platform initiative to go beyond measuring for short-term projects uh, to, to the first nationally projectable, continuously operating, five-platform, persons-based media measurement solution. Here's to Artie. SIM's smart smartphone pilot test with Symphony Advanced Media is another one that you're going to be hearing about today. Uh, this one is, uh, invoked passive methods for measuring exposure across media that can be linked to brand impact survey results. Another thing on the agenda is the SIM Nielsen Innovation Committee's presentation. SIM formed the first of its kind um, innovation committee with Nielsen's MTAM initiative to test both passive and active smartphone apps and online e-diaries to develop viable alternatives to paper diaries and provide input to demographic modeling in markets using hybrid measurement of return path data and code readers. We'll also hear from a comprehensive panel on Taxi. This is one of uh, my favorites. 2013 is a critical year for developing an implementation plan to roll out Taxi throughout the media ecosystem, and we're excited to get the latest on this initiative. Being a part of SIM has been an, inv an invaluable experience. I have personally learned so much about the future of measurement. Um, and it's, it's really something that everyone here is involved in because they realize that we've got to figure this out together and we need more people to join. SIM has brought the buy side and the sell side together to the table to test and learn. And it's through their efforts that we've made such significant strides in understanding the future of measurement, which I just yesterday made a presentation to Viacom Senior Management about the future of measurement and talked a lot about the, the progress that we've made through our various pilots here at SIM, um, which give them a lot of hope. It's nice to give people hope. Um, 
But there is so much more work to be done. From a media company point of view, our jobs have, of course, gotten infinitely more complicated. At Viacom, we're faced with a lot of challenges in terms of content measurement. We're not unlike a marketer. We're going to hear from Lego right after me. That's, it's a lot of heavy lifting to understand how your content or your ads are being consumed across different platforms because measurement is so siloed. Um, we have the same problems as marketers because we're the vessel for their ads, so we need to know basically the same things. At Viacom, we do have numerous brands whose audience and audiences and fans are young. We've got kids and tweens and millennials and young men, and these are the demos that are the earliest adopters and heaviest consumers of content on phones and tablets. There is a massive potential in tapping into the intimate relationship consumers have with their mobile devices. But measurement of consumption on mobile devices like smartphones and tablets is severely lacking. Another concern we have, again, especially due to our youthful audiences, is that the current TV measurement requires each household member to push a button on a separate remote control. It's the same technology that was rolled out over 25 years ago. 25 years, that's a generation. Technology and consumers have evolved significantly since then, and measurement simply has not kept up. Isn't it time for passive measurement? Syndicated digital measurement also has challenges, especially with kids. Co-viewing isn't represented properly. Attribution is often just plain wrong. These and many more measurement issues impact every part of our business, from marketing to ad sales to distribution. So for an instance, from a marketing perspective, we need to get to the next level with data-driven marketing activities to make our efforts more efficient, more targeted, and more effective. We need, to do bat we need to build dashboards and analytics tools for our marketers to directly make real-time decisions around audience optimization, targeting, affinities, and insight. Multi-platform content consumption has short and long implications regarding how media is, of course, bought and sold, which matters a lot to our ad sales strategy and ad sales folks. We want to re-aggregate and monetize the audience for our content, an audience that's, of course, increasingly fragmented by an influx of influx of devices and technologies, and we want to be able to define the best currency for us to transact against to maximize the value of our content. And from a distribution perspective, there's obviously all kinds of different places and spaces for us to be make, uh, making our content available to our consumers. Um, we evaluate digital distribution opportunities very carefully, but we need stronger measurement solutions to inform these, dis these distribution decisions. Third-party validation and real-time reporting for new platforms are lacking, and we need stronger data so we can monetize our premium video content and more robust data to better evaluate different windowing approaches. Bottom line is, as Alan Wurzel would say, if I can't measure it, I can't monetize it. And that's why we're furthering cross-platform measure measurement here at SIM, and it's so crucial to a company like Viacom. But more change is needed, but it, and it won't happen overnight, and that's why we need SIM more than ever. Looking ahead through the rest of the year and beyond, SIM has a slew of exciting initiatives in the pipeline with great potential to transform the way audiences are measured. And they're also canvassing our current members and hopefully new members to add to these initiatives. Of course, all these efforts are dependent on the continued support and commitment from its members. Um, like I said, for me personally, learning through experimentation with people like Artie and Kate Serkin um, has been an extraordinary opportunity. And I know we can, make cont we can continue to make significant strides through our work with SIM. So, in summary, I want to encourage even more collaboration, more engagement, and more of you to join SIM. Uh, the need for cross-platform measurement solutions on how consumers are using multiple screens is the most crucial issue facing our industry today, whether you're an agency, or a marketer, or a content creator, or a researcher. This is the exciting work we're doing here at SIM. We'll be focused on moving forward, and we invite you to be a part of it. Being a part of SIM means being a part of the solution. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening. And now we're going to hear the challenges from an advertiser